the fact that you came here to do that. It is not only the British government that's directly supporting the killing in Gaza, but they're also significant members of a newly visible cohort of what we might call British Zionists for genocide. They're everywhere in the organized Jewish community, which is overwhelmingly Zionist. British Zionist organizations have been falling over themselves to pledge support for Israel after the start of the genocide on the 7th of October. The JC published a list of groups for readers to donate money to help Israel. The main Zionist groups have all rallied to support the Zionist entity in its full genocidal splendor. For example, the Zionist Federation, the United Jewish Israel Appeal, the Jewish National Fund, each of which are core elements of the Zionist movement. The way I cope with it is by making cakes and goods for soldiers. Even many synagogues are supporters of Zionist extremism. Here is the United Synagogue promoting a youth settler who, while in the UK, is helping to build support for the occupation forces which are directly engaged in genocide. I'm looking forward to coming back to you guys and tell you, oh, we've managed, we won. The United Synagogue is the largest of five main synagogue movements in the UK, catering largely to Ashkenazi Jews, often described as modern Orthodox. It proudly claims to be Zionist on its website. Meanwhile, the Jewish chaplain at Leeds University in the north of England has been circulating videos of himself in occupation forces uniform, claiming that no one could deny that Israel is dealing with this war with the utmost morality and good ethics. What Israel is trying to do is destroy the evil, which is the most moral thing possible. All such chaplains are chosen by the University Jewish Chaplaincy, an organization which has charitable status. How many more chaplains are attempting to radicalize young Jewish students by promoting genocide? The University Jewish Chaplaincy is a member of the Jewish Leadership Council and the Board of Deputies, both avowed pro-Israel groups. They also get support from other extremist supporters of the genocide in Gaza, such as the convicted fraudster and founder of the CST, Gerald Ronson, via the Gerald and Gail Ronson Family Foundation. Property developer David Dangor of Monopro, which made £4 million in profits last year via the Elikarch Foundation, his charitable venture. It also donates to the Islamophobic Henry Jackson Society and various interfaith groups dedicated to Zionist penetration of the Muslim community. The Wolfston family, who own the retailer Next via the Charles Wolfston Charitable Trust. It has a history of donating to Islamophobic think tanks and the Jerusalem Foundation, which is directly involved in ethnic cleansing in Palestine. Of course, the radicalization of Jewish youth in the UK to recruit them to join the genocidal Israel occupation forces as foreign fighters is a core element of British Zionist strategy. The so-called Lone Soldier Program for 16-year-olds and above is promoted to young Jews on campus and even in schools. One participant was the daughter of the revisionist Zionist extremist David Collier, who is a core part of the Zionist regime's troll network in the UK. He has recently traveled to occupied Palestine to continue legitimizing genocide on behalf of the regime. Zionism is not just a problem for the Palestinians, it's a problem for every country with an organized Zionist movement.